Good day to you both. It's been quite a long time. You're looking well as ever. Hi, Adeline! To what do we owe the honor today? Important business to discuss with Master Diluc, I presume? That's right! Adeline, since we've run into you, maybe we could just get you to help us with this one. We always miss the winery's discount grape juice, so this time we decided to come here early. Can you reserve a bottle for us? We'll pay a deposit, just name the price. Of course I can, and no deposit necessary. But I'm afraid you might be in for quite a wait. Dawn Winery's discount grape juice takes a long time to make. Every summer, Master D. Luke handpicks two barrels of the finest grapes to turn into juice. What? Why sell the good stuff at a low price? Shouldn't the best grapes be the most expensive? Master has never explained his reasoning. If I had to guess, the discount could be a marketing technique. Special deals always attract customers. Perhaps Master hopes to increase the popularity of fruit juice so that people have more options when it comes to drinking. It makes an ideal alternative for the heaviest drinkers because they won't get drunk and start causing mischief. At the same time, those who don't drink alcohol get the chance to try something new. Master D. Luke isn't all about money. I think he would prefer to see people drinking in moderation than chase bigger profits at any cost. Imagine if everyone could just enjoy a nice glass of wine and have a good time while keeping their wits about them and not creating trouble for others. <laughs> now, wouldn't that be a miracle? Wow! Master D. Luke's such a thoughtful guy! So, is D. Luke picking out this year's grapes right now? Not just yet. He has a few more issues to sort out first. He'll start the process as soon as those are out of the way. If you're interested, I'm sure Master D. Luke would be delighted to see you and hear your thoughts. As you know, whenever Master D. Luke catches wind of any unsavory guests showing up in Mondstadt, he takes it upon himself to go and <clears throat> greet them in person. It's the same story today. He should be somewhere near Falcon Coast. I'm not sure how long he'll be. In the meantime, would you like to take a seat inside? I have to stay here and wait for some other guests, but Hilly and Mako will be glad to take care of you. Unsavory guests? What is that supposed to mean? Un... But Paimon won't feel kind of bad if we're sitting in Diluc's house, twiddling our thumbs while he's out there hard at work. Hmm. Let's go to the Falcon Coast and help Diluc sort out his issues. Although... D. Luke is super strong. Surely he'd appreciate a little support. If you're happy to help, that would be wonderful. Master trusts you after all, and you're both very capable. I know he'd appreciate a helping hand. No biggie. The sooner Master D. Luke is free, the sooner we can get a taste of that delicious grape juice. <laughs> Come on, let's go to the Falcon Coast. <laughs> Please send Master D. Luke my regards when you find him. Also, do be careful out there. As Master always says, even when the odds of success are 9 to 1, you must never lower your guard. Camp over there? D. Luke is camping out in the wild? Huh. This is weird. Hmm. Maybe these enemies are really tough, and it's turned into a long, drawn out battle. Let's go check it out. Huh. This tent doesn't look like it belongs to D. Luke. Hmm. Maybe it's an adventurer camp. Oh! There's a piece of paper and a notebook over there. Let's read them. Judging by the tone, it seems like this was written by someone D. Luke knows well. Let's call him D. Luke 
Luke's friend for now. He saw something bad happen, wrote a note for Master D. Luke, and then left. Huh. Isn't that pretty irresponsible? What if someone else had seen it? Also, he left his notebook behind. Hmm. Now that Paimon thinks about it, you know that strange ley line deposit on the beach? Other than that, everything seems fine here. Not a monster in sight. Hmm. Do you want to read d -Luke's friend's notebook too? If not, let's head over and take a closer look at the ley line deposit. Usual. Ah, oh, look at him go! So focused and full of energy! So this is Captain Pyro when he's in top form, huh? Hey, you're right! Now that Paimon looks more closely, this d -Luke does look younger than usual. But what happened back then? Why is he fighting here? Hmm. Guess we can just ask him about it when we see him. Hmm. What should we do now? Okay, let's see how young d -Luke used to fight. we've seen, then it should have disappeared now that all the monsters are defeated. Uh, no, no! <laughs> Paimon's just a little worried, is all. Wh what if someone passing by gets curious, comes to check it out, then suddenly, yeah! A monster jumps out and clubs him over the head with a swish and a smash! That would be terrible. Because it sounds more dangerous that way. Anyway, we came here to help d -Luke, didn't we? So let's stick around a little longer and make sure this place is completely safe before we head back. <laughs> Not really. Paimon just wants some fancy grape juice. Mm. Come on, let's finish what we came for. When we get the grape juice, you can have some of Paimon's half. To the wind. There is no escape. Gather. Quietly now. Illusion shattered. This is order. Stabilize. As one with wind and cloud. You are about to get dicey. Busted. Inazuma shines eternal! There is no escape! Order guide you! 
solidified. Clouds high. The birds call. The wind knows. Gotcha. Game's up. Come over. Torn to oblivion. Illusion shattered. would have stopped coming. Also, Paimon still doesn't have a clue what's going on here. <sighs> Shall we just go ask D. Luke? Yeah, come on! Let's get back to the Dawn Winery! <laughs> You're finally back. I didn't think you'd be gone for so long. Sorry if it was too much trouble. That's okay. We did offer to help. So anyway, is Master D. Luke back yet? We didn't see him at Falcon Coast. Sorry, I'm not sure of Master's whereabouts either. But I did hear that he recently visited Angel's Share. After dealing with this kind of trouble, Master is always careful to tie up all loose ends. It's become something of a routine. He should be back very soon. You needn't worry. In the meantime, please make yourself comfortable in the winery. After all that, we managed to completely miss him! Oh well. Let's just wait for him at the winery this time. By the way, Adeline, how come you're always standing here at the door lately? Usually you're busy indoors. Hopefully you haven't been standing there waiting for Master D. Luke this whole time, cause that would be really tiring. Oh, thanks for your concern. But I've actually been instructed by Master to meet with some special guests here. Certain guests may need reminding to stay away for the time being. Master hopes that under the present circumstances, these guests will keep an appropriate distance from the winery, so as not to make a difficult situation even more complicated. Uh, well, Paimon didn't understand any of that, but it sounds like a really important job. That's very kind of you indeed, but you've already helped Master D. Luke out a great deal. You can let me take care of these time-consuming chores. There is one small thing you could do for me, though. Please, take this letter and place it on the table to your right as you enter the door. There are a few archived letters on that table already. Just put this one at the very top of the pile. Is this a letter for Master D. Luke? Yes, it's from one of his informants. Only those in Master's inner circle are permitted to handle it or serve as custodian. Ooh, that means we're part of D. Luke's inner circle. Of course. Master D. Luke greatly values your friendship. Thanks again for the help. 
Take it easy. Whoa, there are so many letters here. It looks like D Luke read them just before he left. He must have been in a hurry. Adeline asked us to put this one at the top of the pile, but how are we supposed to tell the order of the other ones? Guess we'll have to read them to get an idea of when they came in! Bad idea? Yeah, you're probably right. Okay, let's just tidy them up a little. You're here. You move fast. Woo! There he is! What are you agonizing over? Miss Adeline asked us to put these letters in a pile, and we can't tell which order they should go in. But, uh, it's your personal mail, so it'd be rude for us to read them without your permission. <sighs> There's no need to be nervous. And I can see from the looks on your faces that they've grabbed your interest. These letters deal with events that are past and gone. I only held on to them in case any of the information they contain proves useful later down the line. I just dug them out to confirm a few details. I've been following some rather unique developments recently. You were involved in the events in question anyway. You can read them if you want to. It's not a bad thing to be curious. <sighs> hey, that's a good point! Actually, you kinda smell like wild mountain fruit. Oh, did you go to those mountains where the Valberries come from? Very perceptive. Yes, I did make a trip to the Stormbearer Mountains. I'll fill you in later. No fear! We still have some super important things to discuss with D. Luke. Not to mention a whole bunch of questions. <sighs> All right, let's just sort these letters for him. Well, since he said he doesn't mind, why don't we read them as we go? Not sure what this one's about. 
Shall we read another one? Do you want to keep reading them, or have you got the gist now? Okay! Remember, we're trying to figure out when each letter was written. In the right order. If there's one thing we can take away from these, it's that Master Diluc has had a pretty difficult past. Not only was he misunderstood by the Knights of Vonius, but he's faced all kinds of other obstacles too. Sounds like it's tough being Captain Pyro, always fighting alone because, for one reason or another, it wasn't convenient for the people around him to help out. Yeah, that's true. Plus, he's got us now. We can give him all the help he could ever want. Oh, out of friendship, of course. Definitely not just for the grape juice. <laughs> Wait, what? Is there a problem? Master G. Luke, you're wearing your old outfit again? And you've tied your hair back! You look so... formal all of a sudden. Old outfit? You've seen it before? Yep, it was by that Leyline Anomaly. That was your past self, right? Huh. I'm surprised it made such an impression. Do you mind telling us about it? What happened back then? Why were you fighting there? The same reason as ever. Just stopping another Abyss Order plot. They launched an offensive on several fronts at once. Unfortunately for them, they were still no match for me. We were fighting in an area on Falcon Coast, and everything was recorded by the unusually active ley lines. They must have become unstable again recently, causing them to let out all kinds of information from that time. Hence why you saw what you saw. For starters, you only need to deal with the monsters and the ley line deposit will stay dormant, as long as it isn't disturbed again. On the other hand, if I'd done nothing at all, the Knights of Favonius would have taken over straight away. Knowing how they work, they'd be sure to send a large contingent to guard the site. Wouldn't that have been a good thing? Depends. Most of the Knights are away on expeditions, so they don't have a lot of people to spare. If the Ley Line Anomaly was just a diversion tactic, the Abyss Order could have been poised to attack somewhere else entirely, while the Knights were scrambling to send what limited forces they have to Falcon Coast. But anyway, I have no interest in talking to the Knights of Favonius. I prefer to get to the bottom of things myself, rather than waste time negotiating with them. And it was easy enough for me to find out the Abyss Order's plans, Take a few Abyss Mages hostage, and they soon start talking. As for the Knights of Favonius, I've sent someone to enlist their cooperation where it's needed. It's their job to handle situations like this. 
They ought to be present when things come to a head. I don't like working closely with the Knights of Favonius because of our differences in philosophy. But that doesn't mean we can't watch each other's backs when it counts. Wow. Seems like you have even more control over things now than you used to, Diluc. The best way to deal with any threat is to utilize all the force at your disposal. Anyway, thank you for your help. Adeline brought me up to speed with everything. In return, I have a gift for your trouble. Great use! The packaging is so fancy! It must be really expensive! This is my personal favorite grape juice, made of the highest quality grapes. I happen to have an unopened batch, so I brought you a bottle to try. I didn't know you were such fans of grape juice. Next time you want some, don't bother waiting for the discount. Just go down to the cellar and help yourselves. It's on the house. Woohoo! Pyman's gonna tell everyone we meet that we're VIPs at Dawn Winery! This one bottle must be worth at least, like, 50,000 mora! <laughs> and he gave it to us for free! Thank you so much, Master D. Luke! <laughs> if you're free tonight, you're welcome to stay for dinner. Adeline is already making it. Uh, there are, however, a few things I need to take care of before dinner time. Yes, passiveness is not my style. Though I had my suspicions at the start, everything I've come across so far in my investigation suggests that the Abyss Order was not behind this. Since this arose from natural causes, it's time to wrap things up. Um, so what should we do? Right! Sure! After all, he did just give us this amazing grape juice. Wait, uh, no. Uh, what was it? After all, even when the odds of success are nine to one, you must never lower your guard. <sighs> well said. In that case, let's get going. Okie dokie, Captain Pyro. You can take it a little easier this time. Come on, let's go! This is the final battle, then we can put all this trouble behind us.